Hey there YouTube, my name is Gracie, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you guys about um, surviving gang stalking and one of my remedies for surviving gang stalking. So, not just, you know, surviving gang stalking, but I'll just say in general, you know, how I've survived through life, right? Um, so, one of the main things that keeps me going in life is prayer and God. You know, um, there's times when I've tried to move by myself without the presence of God in my life, without acknowledging the presence of God in my life. You know, just trying to work so hard to achieve my goals and, you know, just pretty much trying to um, to do things without acknowledging God. You know, to, to, you know, praying or meditating or reading God's word and honestly speaking those were the worst times in my life those were the worst times in my life because no matter how hard I worked nothing would come through nothing would come through like any time I choose to stray from God nothing would work in my life and it was almost like it was a reminder like nope you have to go back to God that's the only way it's gonna work, and that's, it's like, it's like whenever, whenever I I stray from God, you know, things just start to fall apart. Nothing works again. It's like a reminder, go back to the source. You have to go back to the source. It is only when I'm attached to the source, when I'm connected to the source, that things come through my life. And if and 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 the the the, the funniest part is, I could attach myself to source and do the least work, and things would just fall in place. It's like that saying, you know, the saying, God first and everything falls in place. That saying is so true, especially for the chosen ones, you know. And I've met other people who have told me the same thing. You know, it's like God really plays a major role in our life, you know, for us to even survive gang, for me to survive gang stalking, right? It was through prayer, meditation, faith and trust in God that he will bring me through this despite all the opposition that I faced. And this is the reason why I'm still alive up until today because the kind of opposition we meet out here, I mean, it's demons after demons. Like, you gotta battle demons on... on, on. <laughs> For me, I've fought the most malevolent demons. I mean, this kind of narcissist that I meet, you know, it's the most malicious motherfuckers on the planet, you know? People who are trying to take me out, people who put bounties on my head, people who like put shit in my food. Like it's it's ridiculous, you know, and to survive all that is like it's only through the grace of God that you can make it through such kind of oppression and opposition. You know? So that's just my my little advice there. Like guys, always remember to put God first, you know, trust in him and believe that you will make it through no matter what i mean these motherfuckers out here are crazy they come in full force full, it's, it's, i mean they can round up a whole fucking city against you but once you when you got god on your side and when you acknowledge his presence in your life you will come come out victorious at the end of the day yes so that's just my little message for tonight um yeah so god first and everything falls in place remember that Thank you for listening. Have yourself a good day, good night, wherever you are. Bye now.